Hello there, welcome to Blink and Beep. Thanks a lot for choosing to watch this video. In this video, we will try to address two problems in our Windows PC which are actually related to each other and it means that we will need just one solution to address both of these. So let's get started. The problems you are talking about are both related to wireless projecting of our screen. So the first problem is when we try to project a screen from a different PC to our current PC wirelessly. When we go into settings, uh, click on system and click on projecting to this PC. So we see an error message here that says uh, this device doesn't support receiving Miracast so we can't project to it wirelessly. The second problem is when we try to project our current PC screen to a different PC or a wireless display. When I press Windows and K. Uh, we see another message saying that your PC or mobile device doesn't support Miracast so it cannot project wirelessly. So when we talk about the solutions, there are a lot of options we might have to try. For example, the issue could be on a software driver level where you might have to update your network drivers or reinstalling the Wi-Fi adapter or even the firewall may be preventing it. But in this video, we will address the hardware issues only. What if your motherboard is not compatible and how do we resolve it? So that's what we'll talk about. So first let's check if it is the hardware compatibility that is causing the issue for us. To test this, press Windows and X and from here select Windows PowerShell Admin. In the window that pops up, type the command get net adapter, select name and this version. The command is in the description of this video, you can copy paste it directly in the PowerShell and hit enter. Now it displays Ethernet and the endless version is 6.40. So what this means is my motherboard supports only Ethernet and not the Wi-Fi. And how do we solve this? Well, one way to do that is to upgrade your motherboard with Wi-Fi support which actually is quite costly. Or you can simply get a wireless USB adapter like the one here. This is the TP-Link TLWN725N Wi-Fi receiver to USB adapter. So, which is currently costing about 450 INR. It is actually just a plug and play device. So, you don't have to worry about installing any drivers or softwares. And it supports 2.5 GHz Wi Fi channel and up to a speed of about 150 Mbps. So, I will post the link for this product in the video description. Please check it out if needed. You could also find similar products on Amazon like this. Let me insert it in the USB port. And now back to my PC. Now as we see here, my Wi-Fi is enabled and when I press Windows plus K, there you go. So now we don't see the message which said that this PC doesn't support Miracast. Let me also quickly check it in the other place. Settings, System, Projecting to this PC. Great, the messages disappeared from here as well. Now let's see what our PowerShell displays. Yep, there's the difference. Now along with the Ethernet, we are also seeing Wi-Fi and with its version which is 6.70. So if this is above 6.30, then it means that our PC is now Miracast compatible. We will quickly test our wireless projecting as well. This is my setup. I have my new PC and my old laptop side by side. And I have already completed the required setup in my laptop for a wireless display. I will cover that in a separate video. So as you can see, my laptop is actually ready uh, to receive the incoming projection request. Now in my PC, when I press the Windows K, I see my laptop displayed here. Let me select that. There you go. So we see the PC screen extended here. We also see this message on my PC here on the top that says connected to desktop. The idea is that I wanted to make use of my laptop as a second screen and so it is currently in extend mode. We could also change it to duplicate the screen. To do that, click on Windows K. Now click on change projection mode. Now we can choose one from the options here. We could uh, duplicate, extend or use only the second screen as well. So that's it for this video. Hope it was useful and information to you. Catch you in another video. Thank you. Bye bye.